Tom Jones famously said, What's new pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. At the time, many believed he was talking to a person of the female variety about what was new in their social life. However, in light of recent breaking news, it could be that he was actually the world's first scooper. Take that, Charles Murphy, he beat you. Now, if that absolutely horrendous intro hasn't put you off, then sit tight and hold on to your butts because we're going to be breaking down the new story that says there's currently a Catwoman TV show in development at HBO Max. If you're new here, then please smash the subscribe button as we do videos like this every day, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're as hyped as we are. So, this report comes from the Cinema Spot, who within the last 12 hours have posted a story stating that a Catwoman TV show set in the Matt Reeves Batman universe is reportedly in development at HBO Max. This comes in the wake of Zoe Kravitz's show, High Fidelity, being cancelled after one season, and I can't even hate, she went and got a brand new job in less than 24 hours. Now last month, it was announced that there was going to be a Gotham Central-like show set in the same Bataverse that would centre around the police department investigating crimes in the infamous city. We were told at the time that there would be other projects that Matt Reeves would have a hand in, and it looks like this will be the first of many that will follow on from his solo Batman film, which is due to drop next year. Now, I can't be bothered writing because I'm very lazy, but the full report says, Warner Brothers Television is currently working on a Catwoman show for HBO Max. Not much is currently known about this series, outside of the fact that it's set in the same universe as the upcoming Batman movie. Zoe Kravitz is expected to reprise her role as Selina Kyle, aka Catwoman. Yesterday, Hulu announced that their High Fidelity series would be prematurely ending after one season, and while we currently don't know why this series was cancelled, it is likely Catwoman had a hand in this decision. Ultimately, the cinema spot decided to wait until the fate of High Fidelity was determined first before running this scoop, which they apparently knew about months ago. The report says that it is possible the series will be a prequel, exploring the character of Selina Kyle and her adventures that took place before she met Bruce and most other major characters in Gotham City. However, the website does say that they've heard rumours about how Selina might not actually become Catwoman in the Batman, and because of this, they believe that the Catwoman show could be a sequel to the movie, following Selina's transformation into the iconic villain slash anti-hero known as Catwoman. The Catwoman show will be joining the HBO Max prequel series focused on the Gotham Police Department, written by the Wolf of Wall Street's Terrence Winter. It is currently unknown when either series will start production, but Matt Reeves' The Batman is currently set to release on October 1st, 2021. So, lots and lots to talk about there, and I actually have my own theory on how things will go. We know that the movie itself will be a loose adaptation of The Long Halloween, and in that, we watch as Catwoman investigates her past, and she searches for who a true father is. This actually develops into a spin-off book called Catwoman When in Rome, in which she traces back a family tree and goes through the titular city to discover her roots. It also features the Riddler, who we know is going to be a villain in the upcoming movie, and though I don't think that he will be brought across just for a TV show, the things are definitely there to set it all up. Either way, this is brilliant news if it's true, and it looks like we might be getting some more big announcements like this at DC Fandom, which is due to happen on the 22nd of August. Obviously, I'll keep you posted, but in the meantime, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story and if you're hyped for the show or not. Comment below and let me know, and if you're excited for the show, then please drop a thumbs up, and if you're not excited, then drop a thumbs down. You can also drop a thumbs down if you absolutely hate me. If you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of the ending of DC's Doom Patrol, which is going to be linked after this. Don't forget that every month on the 15th, we give away free Blu-rays, and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning the MCU Infinity Saga box set is leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe with notifications on. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early, then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on a Discord server linked in the description or at Heavy Spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. You've been the best. I've been Definition, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.